The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources is launching a new requirement to track down cancer-causing forever, forever chemicals known as PFAS across the state. News 8 Now's Emily Haugen explains how the DNR hopes this effort gets them one step closer to a solution. Beginning November 1st, the DNR will require Wisconsin cities with populations of over 50,000 to test their water for PFAS. Here in La Crosse, some of that testing has already begun. Water is life. Human beings are mostly composed of water. So everything that we ingest has a direct correlation on our health. But for those whose water is contaminated with PFAS, water can cause more problems than it solves. Consuming these chemicals over time at levels that we we suspect health-based um, effects can happen, that can, you know, detrimental to people's health. In hopes of tracking down PFAS levels across the state, the Department of Natural Resources has a new testing requirement. The tests look for dangerous levels of PFOA and PFOS. So if a system has, uh, you know, any kind of water treatment, if they have filtration, disinfection, stuff like that, this sampling takes place after that. Cities with 50,000 or more people were already able to submit their test results this month. The city of La Crosse was one of them. If through this sampling we find out that PFAS is a big problem, of course, you know, we will drag more resources to it. According to a DNR database, all eight of La Crosse's running wells have been tested. Each well had low contamination levels, none of them close to approaching a dangerous threshold. The DNR testing requirement will eventually apply to smaller municipalities. But for those who live in the town of Campbell, this is not a solution. Each residence uh, has their own well. The new requirement is for municipal water systems. Still, for the rest of Wisconsin, the DNR says this is a step closer to more help. Now for cities smaller than a population of 50,000, but bigger than 10,000, that testing will be required beginning February 1st. As for cities smaller than 10,000, that testing will be required May 1st. Reporting in La Crosse, this is Emily Haugen for News 8 Now. All right, thanks very much, Emily. Now a representative from the city of La Crosse tells News 8 Now that they did not test the wells that are currently shut down. That includes the already known contaminated wells located on French Island.